Hey guys, Vicki here, Writing for Jesus. Alright, so, um, this video may seem a little, like, pointless, but I really felt like filming and I have kept, like, thinking about it and I'm like, I just really want to film it, so I hope you enjoy. I have had a few, uh, TBRs on my channel and I have not completed most of them and some of them have been pretty big. I mean, it's more of like a pile of possibilities. But I went through all my TBR videos and I grabbed every single book that I have not read yet. So I have 15 books here that I have not read that have been on previous TBRs. And so I kind of want to just focus on these books um, for the end of the year and just see like how many I can get through. So yeah, let's just jump right in. So first, um, this one is a love-inspired book, <laughs> A Cowboy for the Summer by Danica Favorite. I just noticed her last name. That is really cool. Favorite. Um, yeah, and she's got a cute horse on the cover, and it's got a cute guy, so I picked it up. I found it at Walmart, um, I think when I went to Canada, <laughs> um, like, last year. Um, yeah, but it's just a simple little love-inspired contemporary romance. I'm not really into contemporary romance, but like, I like contemporary romance, and then usually the 75% mark, like three quarters of the way in, like, I did, there's not enough like faith, and then there's just like too much like physicality on the romance, and it's just like in between the line messages, there's just certain things that aren't done the way I want them to, and I just feel like, ah, like, eh. So they're never like five stars, but it just looked really cute. And I was like, it'd be a nice little palette cleanser. Then um, another contemporary, um, this one might be kind of like magical realism. Um, the camera never lies. This one makes me think of a like Twilight Zone. Yeah, this one, it says, Daniel begins using the camera, but every time he develops his photos, they threaten to reveal secrets that could sabotage both his marriage and his career. I'm usually not big on secrets, so I don't know. We'll try it. Maybe <laughs> I might end up DNFing some of these. I don't know. But so it's like fun reading, but it's like also kind of fun. Like when you DNF something, you're like, okay, like it got it off my shelves. Like it just feels like a success. And then Renegades, this one has been on two TBRs and this is a sequel to Recruits. And I really enjoyed the first book, even though it wasn't super well done. There were elements that I absolutely loved. It was my first sci-fi book that I read. This is a sequel. And this is a duology about two brothers who get recruited to fight aliens. And this is a sequel to that. Oh yeah, and the brothers are twins. I forgot about that. They're twins. And so, uh, yeah, this book really inspired, well, the first book really inspired my sci-fi and the brothers and stuff. Because I've always loved sibling relationships. Um, so yeah, this helped inspire my book so yeah this was really short so okay another contemporary contemporary romance Karen Kingsbury someone like you um I don't love Karen Kingsbury's writing style but I really really loved this movie it was really good good faith like good story and so yeah I just really felt prompted to buy the book so yeah biblical fiction of love and treason this is like set in the acts time with the Romans and stuff and the new church starting and um, Reese really liked this book it sounded really good so that one this one has been on three TBRs I love Irene Hennen I actually just found her newest release at a Barnes and Noble so I had to get it <laughs> um, I was so happy because I didn't think that that book was out yet but it is, so I was super happy. But yeah, this is the first in a series about this girl. She's like a radio talk show host and someone's trying to kill her. Yeah, this will be my first Colleen Cobo book, another kind of contemporary romance. Um, this girl is like kind of looking for a safe haven. She's leaving an abusive relationship and um, she's finding sanctuary here with the horses and then I guess like the owner of the ranch or whatever, so. Oh, I forgot about this one. The Blackout Book Club. This was like super long time ago. This was on a TBR. And it's like World War II, of course. You got the plane in the background. 
she wants to keep her bookstore alive and so like because of the war and everything no one's really coming and so she's like oh well, like let me start a book club let me do something to get people to keep coming and, and they end up just really like coming together as you know sisters and just really being there for each other during the war and so i actually started this one i got to like chapter four I, so it was like four chapters and each one was dedicated to one of the girls and um i got the impression like it was good but it was slow and it was well, it's just like setting the stage for each girl. I was enjoying it. I'm like, yeah, this is well written. Like, it's cool, but like, it didn't suck me in. So I actually had considered getting rid of this because I was like, I, I don't feel like drawn to it. Like, I don't really care. And I've heard from my friends that there's like no faith content. So yeah, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, and this one I'm like really excited about, the K. Um, this one just like looks so cool. It's got sharks on the cover. I'm like, oh my word, oh my word. <laughs> that is the scariest thing. A little raft and it got like two sharks like coming at you. And the kid is like temporarily blind <laughs> because of the accident. I guess they like fell off, you know, the ship or whatever that they were on. So I'm like, okay, you're blind and you got sharks on and you're on a raft. <laughs> like, oh my word. So it really gave me like hatchet vibes and I think uh yeah Gary Paulson gives an introduction so I'm like that's cool so it's really short so super short I definitely need to get to this one and yeah I'm really excited I have high hopes for this one. Oh, and then there's my boy hey Gary Paulson Brian's return this is the fourth book in the series and the other books in the series have gotten five stars every single one of them so I have high hopes for this one too. It's just Brian returning to the wilderness because he just does not feel like he belongs. Here. Oh, If I Run by Terry Blackstock. My friend Casey Zimba has like loves this book and she told me that she like really wants me to read it. And everybody says this is like the best and it sounds good. Um, I have all three books in the series. Um, it's about this girl on the run um, because her DNA is all over the crime scene of the murder of her best friend. Sounds like it's up my alley. Another contemporary romance, A Chunker. Um, this will be a first. Nicole Dees for me and my sister bought me this book. I hope I like it. <laughs> and that, oh, okay, why do I have so much romantic contemporary romance? Uh, this is a novella, You and Me by Becky Wade. <laughs> um, I've never tried her, but some of my friends, especially Amanda, loves Becky Wade. And she always says it like that, Becky Wade. So, um, I really do want to try the first book in this series. That one sounds good, like the plot and everything. And that one's like her most popular book. So this one's so short. I think I'm just going to fly through them probably. So might be a cute read. So you never know. You never know how you're going to like a book until you read it. So Okay, and then a couple of novelizations. So Mom's Night Out. I don't like the movie. I, I feel bad, but I don't like this girl. Like the movies that I've seen her in. She just rubs me the wrong way. I just never like her characters in the movies that I've seen her in. But I don't know. It's it's done by an author that I do like. I've read one of her other books. It was an Amish book and it's really good. And I love novelizations. So I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, then I will just pass it along. And then last one, Paul Apostle of Christ. I don't love Angela Hunt's writing style, but I really like this movie. And it's pretty short. 300 pages, not that bad. I don't know, less than that, 261. I think the faith content is gonna be really great. It's all about Paul and then Luke and um, him visiting him in prison and um, when the Christians were being persecuted, um, but it's just like really, really good, really good movie. So I am looking forward to reading this one. So, so there's a lot of romance. <laughs> But yeah, that's the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.